You're watching CES Live, powered by Ustream.tv, the most powerful way to stream live video, and by NewTek, makers of the TriCaster family of broadcast and streaming systems. And now, CES Live. Hey guys, welcome back to CES Live here at CES 2014. I'm Callie Lewis. I am Phil Nickinson. That was I slightly am. different. I, I'm trying to it was vary it. I, I am Phil Nickinson. I am Callie Lewis. And somebody in the chat room was just asking where Georgia is. Well, unfortunately, Georgia had to uh, go back home and, and do her day job. She was it's not. Deported. Deported. She was not. <laughs> we miss Georgia around here, but she hasn't finished uploading stuff from her coverage here at CES, so keep an eye out for her. Lots more Georgia. Lots more Georgia. Lots more CES. We are not near done. We've got the rest of the day. And don't forget, at the end of the day, Gary Shapiro, the CEO of the CEA, is joining us, and we're going to have a blast with him. You know, last time I interviewed him, uh, we were throwing him rapid fire questions. Mm -hmm. And uh, we asked him, <laughs> just he was just answering, bam, 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 bam. We asked him what kind of underwear he wear, and he actually answered it. So that we'll was see John's what, question. Wasn't that was, it? of yeah. course, it was. We'll see what else we can get him to answer. He's, I'm sure, scared to come back on with us. But we love the guy. He'll be back on. And but now we have Paul from Fitbug. Hey, how you doing? Good. How are you? Very good. Tired. It's been a long week, but a good week. I, I don't know why you're yeah, tired. I can't imagine. <laughs> can't imagine. <sighs> well, at least uh, we you all just take a minute and. Let's take a minute yeah. and take a nap. Uh, Can we take mind. a nap? Okay, Would you I'm guys ready. mind? Let's, go. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> all right, so Fitbug. Tell us all about Fitbug. Well, Fitbug has been in the digital health space for a number of years. Yeah. We've been around since 2005. Been one of the first ones, yeah, aren't you? we've been around a long time. Mm -hmm. And it's just incredible to see the whole space just exploding now. I think they said something like the CEA said the expansion of the um, you know fitness and health market here at CES this yeah. year has increased. I can't remember the percentage because well, like you said, it's been a long week, but yeah. it is a lot. Yep. It's been incredible. Yeah. So much interest in the space. You know, there's been it's been bubbling away for a few years now, but you're really feeling it now. Everyone's kind of understanding what digital health can do and how it mm -hmm. can help people. Um, and we're really trying to move that forward to the next chapter still with some of the stuff we've been doing here this week. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm distracted by this that he has on his wrist here. Is, is, uh -huh. this, is this what we're seeing? Yeah, so this, this is my Fitbug Orb, which is our um, latest activity tracker that came into the marketplace around October of last year. Yes. So this is using Bluetooth 4. Um, it tracks you know, all the usual stuff, your activity metrics, your sleep metrics, uploads all the data through Bluetooth 4 to your smartphone or your tablet. But um, if I don't have a device that uses 4? Yep, then we've got a dongle solution oh, oh, a that you okay. use through your, through your laptop or okay. your Mac. Okay. Um, the neat thing about the Orb, which we designed into it, was, if I can just pull this out, was the idea that the actual guts of it can come out and you can wear it in lots of different ways. So you can wear it as a wrist wearable, you can put it into a belt clip, oh, um, you can nice. put it as a key fob, you can put it in your pocket. We've even and done- And so those different accessories that come with the package or sell, sold separately or yeah. what? Yeah, in, in the box you get a wristband and the belt clip. Um, and then you can also accessorize, you can get other colors so you can swap and, swap and change. Um, we also introduced, everyone sniggers at it, but an underwear clip. Oh, now, <laughs> I feel you would wear that one, wouldn't there's you? There's method to the madness. I would have to, st never mind. Oh. <laughs> now, the amount of times that women have said to us over the years, I wear dresses. Yes. I don't have any pockets right. and I don't have mm -hmm. a waistband. What do I do with the things? So yes. It's kind of sticking it in your bras or knickers. Yeah, you can stick not it in a bra, which is, is so what we, other people are doing. So we came up with this idea nice. of a clip designed specifically to be worn on your undergarment. So it's okay. comfortable, doesn't fall off, um, and just nice and easy for people. Okay. So the Orb has kind of been um, a big evolution um, in terms of we wanted to get a product out that was really accessible. So it's got a $49.95 price point. Oh, wow. So we really wanted to be able to get over. <laughs> Your face. We, we wanted like, to get Whoa. over the price barrier, which to a lot of people, it's like they're interested in this stuff and it's something they've heard of. You know, it's something over a hundred bucks. It's like, yeah. am I going to use it? Is it going to work for me? So we wanted to come up with a price point that just meant more people could say, I'm going to give it a go. But accuracy is still it's just, key. It's, absolutely. It's not like it's a cheaper price, but you're getting any less for your bang for your buck, if you like. You're still getting all the functionality that you'll be getting with one of the more, expen more expensive devices, in, in some cases, potentially more. 
And so this button right here. Oh my uh, God, it's gone green. It's yep. gone green. What does that mean? Well, there's three upload modes. Um, there's either push, which you've just done. So you press the button once and it sends the data on demand. Okay. Second option is what we call beacon. So you can set the app to receive data every, say, 30 minutes. Right. So throughout the day, so long as your phone is within range of the orb, the data is automatically sent. Okay. And the third option is if you're going out for a walk, you can put it onto streaming mode and actually see the numbers clocking up as Ooh, you go. Nice. I like that. Which is quite neat. The, so you wouldn't want to do that uh, throughout the day because it would take down battery life. Correct. But so, so generally throughout the day, you'll either push the data if you want to see your most uh, up-to-date readings, or just throughout the day by itself, it'll it'll upload as you go. But you'd really use that if you're going out for an exercise session and just want to check yeah, if yeah. anyone against your goals. I like that. So it's it's quite neat. Um, and then kind of our the next kind of chapter, if you like, mm -hmm. for Fitbug that we've launched at the show here is this new concept called Kick Plans. Kick Plans. Kick Plans. Which is that I've got, that? I've got laid out here. Okay. Now, what what we've really wanted to do is kind of move the story on from, so you've bought a device, um, you've tracked yourself for a while, you've learned a bit about your lifestyle, and then we hear too much people saying, well, so what? Okay, you've taught me now that I walk 6,000 steps a day. So how, do, how do I keep my motivation up? I understand now that I can eat this amount when I walk this much, yep. but how, how do I keep my motivation up to continue that tracking and uh, exactly. fitness project? And that's kind of where these program. very specific plans come in. So the whole idea here is that we will be developing a whole library of different programs. So instead of you're just buying a device for device's sake, we're going to get to more people by saying, you've actually got something that you really want to achieve, okay. something that's important to you. So this example here is the No More Baby Belly program, <laughs> which as the name would suggest, is geared towards new mums. Uh -huh. um, I've never met a new mum who hasn't wanted to get back in shape sure. um, having had a baby. So actually, the device is the start of your journey. How are we actually going to help new mum get back in shape? Well, the answer is she's going to need activity, nutrition targets, going to be right for her. So certainly for a mum who's nursing, there'll be certain things that you should or shouldn't be eating. So you want to make sure they've got that advice. Um, walking is great to get back in shape. But then also floor exercises, um, content, articles, recipes, everything geared towards that particular goal. I, I really like that development in the in the fitness tracker um, industry is to be able to have those types of goals. Um, and I guess the app would feed me back information. Like, so if I say, uh, I'm, a, I'm not, just to clarify, but if I say I'm a new mom <laughs> and I want to lose my baby belly, yeah. um, the app would be like, okay, well, you need to walk this much or whatever. Yep. Why so is it in card form? I'm sorry. Let's just yeah. make sure we're... Well, there'll be, there'll be various different ways that you'll be able to access the program. Okay. So one of the things that, that we've done um, is different packaging for the different programs. So you could walk into a store and pick up off the shelf your orb with the first program that you want to okay. do. So it all comes bundled up. Okay. But then if in the future you want to buy the next plan, you know, you've achieved your first thing, now let's get you on to the second thing. You could pick up a card, almost like a gift card format. Nice. Go home, activate the program, and you're huh. on to your next program. Do you have a card tailored specifically for journalists who are on the road a lot, maybe don't eat what they should? Maybe get maybe taken to dinners drink where a there's too a lot much. of food. Do you have a card for somebody like that? Yeah, we're, we're, I think we should call it the journalist. The fill card, let's just call it. Yeah. Fill card, okay, I like that. <laughs> cool. And then one of the, I'll just, the I'm very worried quick. about my battery life here because it's down to 13%. Oh, okay, well, let's but take a look. When I go into the lifestyle section of the app now, you'll see there's different articles here that you'll be sent each week um, over the course of the 12 week program. So here, you've just had your baby, um, motivational help. You just had a baby, so your first articles you'd receive would all be about staying motivated to get huh. back in shape after you've had your kid. Content and fitness program. Yep. And then, I go back, there's a section here called podcasts. So again, each week over the 12 week program, yeah. you'll get different podcasts sent to you each week. So in this particular example, um, you'll see coming up on the screen now will be some floor exercises okay. to get your hips and bum back in shape after you've had a baby. And bum. I don't oh, know about you, but we could all use a little bit of that. Oh, absolutely. So the whole idea is, you know, it's more than just the device. Um, our marketing guys love the catchphrase device and advice. And that's really what we're trying to do. It's putting the data to use to really I help really you achieve like a health that. goal. That, that's great because idea. often you have to kind of separate those two actions and you've brought it all together. Yep. 
Okay, so again, how much? Forty nine ninety nine. Yeah, the fit by the by itself is okay. forty nine ninety nine. Um, the plans, um, they'll be coming into the marketplace this spring, summertime. Okay. Um, target price will be around 1995. That's That's what we're working towards. It will depend on the plan. Some might be more expensive to bring to market than others, but around 1995. Very cool. Bill card would totally be worth it. Yeah. Just saying. Uh, I would I would subscribe <laughs> to that, that's for sure. <laughs> Are you good? Do you wear fitness trackers? I have off and on. I'm, I'm Rotating smartwatches yeah. right now, but yeah, well, absolutely. Well, if you had helped. a plan in yeah. action, then uh, yeah. maybe you would on a daily basis. Well, wow. thank you so. What? Wow. No, that's. <laughs> what was wrong with that? I, I think he thinks you just called me fat. I did not. I did not <laughs> say anything <laughs> rude. I did not. I think you're perfect just the way you are, Phil. Thank you guys so much it's for It's a joining. pleasure. Thank you for having me. Nice yes. to meet you both. Great to see this. Okay. And you guys, stay tuned for more coverage here from CES Live. And I swear I didn't. I love you, Phil. Bye. We'll be back. <laughs>